Oh, all right, let's talk about the the <coughs> legislation that uh, would have told Memphis police, no, you got to do pretextual stops no matter what your city council says. And this was sponsored by Representative John Gillespie from the Memphis area, who uh, paints himself pretty much as a moderate, really, among uh, Republicans in the State House. But he put forth this measure. He had Tyree Nichols' parents uh, come and speak before the committee when they thought there was going to be a vote this past Monday. They decided to table the vote, and he was. They were led to believe they say that nothing else was going to happen until this week coming up. But instead, on Thursday, they decided to uh, vote on it, and it did pass the House, and that caused quite a firestorm, as you know, Otis. Uh, you had uh, Nichols' parents were very upset, saying that they were misled. Uh, several representatives, Antonio Parkinson, Justin Pearson, saying that the uh, Nichols family had been lied to about this. Let's put up uh, what. Uh, Representative Gillespie had to say in his defense, he said, my heart breaks for Tyree Nichols' entire family. They were aware that this item would be on the calendar today, so he said this on Thursday. Uh, this legislation is about enforcing the state laws we already have on the books. No local government should be allowed to make any city less safe, nor should our law enforcement ever be put in the position of choosing which laws they should enforce. Otis, uh, I guess it gets down to who do you believe? <clears throat> yeah, it does. Uh, and of course, the uh the family of Tyree says emphatically, and they said it in a statement, that they were told by Gillespie not to come back on Thursday because the bill was going to be delayed. Now, that's what they said. Now, Gillespie didn't address that part. Uh, so they were aware that this item would be on the calendar. Okay, but his he didn't say what he said to them. Mm -hmm. um, look, we can debate all day about whether uh, local ordinances about this uh, should, be, should be passed. You know, Keith and I were talking uh, off camera about the fact that, you know, we had a guy who shot a police officer uh, on Friday morning. Uh, and so uh, I think that kind of diminishes the argument uh, that uh, don't tie the police's hands. So we can debate that all day. But there should not be a debate about whether you're going to pull a fast one on a grieving family. And that's what I believe happened here. Now, uh, I'm not calling uh, Gillespie a liar, as somebody may have done in the legislature. But I am saying that don't deceive people, don't pull fast ones, don't tell them not to come, and then you turn around and get the bill passed uh, in, uh, on the House floor. That's just deception, yeah. uh, and you should be ashamed of it. I, what I see happening, and I have nothing to confirm this at all, <laughs> is a bunch of his fellow Republicans saying, hey, we don't need the drama, we don't need Tyree Nichols' parents up here again, let's just get this through. Uh, on Thursday when we don't have the cameras around and it just kind of sails through and that is kind of what happened. I can't imagine, um, I, think it was, I think it was courteous for Gillespie to invite Tyree Nichols' family up there, but I can't imagine um, why Tyree Nichols' family thought that they could have some influence in Nashville. Come on, that super majority of Republicans in Nashville, they don't, they don't even listen to the people that are elected to be there, much less anybody else from Shelby County that's going to come up there and plead their case. I think our state legislature, legislators this week showed about as much respect and compassion for Tyree Nichols' family as they did for the families of the Covenant school shooting. Mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, I think it's the way they operate is a disgrace. And truthfully, you know, I, if, if Gillespie misled the um, Tyree Nichols' family, it's wrong. Yeah. But, um, but I, I think that just even the thought of them go, going up there and talking and trying to persuade Republican supermajority members to do something differently was just they're, their they're, expectations. The lawmakers should have aren't been low. interested in what they're they have to say, is what you're saying. Reverend Norman, what's your take on this? Uh, several things. First of all, I know John very well, and he is a person that will listen to you, and I think he did the right thing to listen. However, I think he was probably a little bit above his, uh, water above his head on this one, because this was an issue in a matter of the heart. This was a matter of a grieving family that has lost their child, and they were hoping for some grace and compassion. What he was speaking to, 
was about the law and the laws of the state of Tennessee. And their hope was that you would hear our heart and you would see the impact of the pretextual stops. I'm, the, I'm a father. I have African-American children. And so a pretextual stop concerns me as a parent. Mm -hmm. Driving while black is still an issue across the United States of America. Sure it is. And so to have some type of compassion is what they were hoping for, Susan. That's all they were saying. Yeah. And so it just didn't happen. And I think that, that John probably did not handle it as well as he could have in communication. I would have agreed that he would have sat down with them and simply said, look, I don't know how far this is going to go. I'll do the best I can do to get you on the floor. But right now, the votes are against you, which says something about the way the rest of the state feels about Shelby County. <laughs> we have a local city council that has put an ordinance in place that is in response to a very horrific thing that took place in our city, and they overturned it. And so that says, we don't care about what you think, what the best way to govern your area. We are going to run it from the state of, from the city of Nashville. And that well, is the pattern and, and practice of this Of everything that we see. It they has been at least 20 years since I've been watching Nashville, maybe more. They have no respect right. for the, the delegation that we send to Nashville. They haven't for, for a long, long time. And this is just proof that they don't. They don't respect the delegation and anything west of the Cumberland they they have they have no no respect right. for and they don't want to deal with and we're west of the Cumberland. Yeah. I can't disagree with 